Hi, welcome back to, um, this is our third video for the Gregory Alicar Museum of Art. Again, my name is Erica. You can call me Erica or Miss Q. And my name is Angel and we will get started. So with this exhibit, um, we are going to talk about women's textiles across Africa. So this exhibit is a bit different than the other two and we will go through the exhibit online just as the others as well. So what is this exhibit about? This exhibit introduces a new view on the lives and roles of women across the African continent. Women created these textiles to represent their role, wealth, and identity. So we're going to use this exhibit to explore some traditions found in cultures outside of our own. So as you can see, we are starting out in Google here and we'll just click exhibitions. And then it'll bring you up to this screen. So this one is quite different because all of these ones say cars, but we're gonna click on women's textiles across Africa. And click here. So just like before, we're gonna move around with our arrows on our keyboard and you can move and your mouse and click on artworks and then go to next. So take a couple minutes to go through this exhibit, see which ones interest you. Okay, so the first artwork we're going to talk about is over here. All right, so once you've navigated through the exhibit a little bit and figured out how to get around, um, you can go ahead and find this artwork, which is called Iti Koti. It's a marriage shawl or a wedding cake by an unknown Zulu artist. So considering that this is a wedding garment, what do you think of when you think of wedding clothes? How are these wedding clothes different from the ones you thought of? Do you think clothing can tell a story or something about the person wearing it and how? So take a few minutes. You can pause the video here to look at this and think about those questions. And then I'll provide a little bit more background information. In many African cultures, including Zulu culture, beadwork is a way to communicate. In the case of this wedding cape, the beadwork communicates courtship, which means getting to know someone in a romantic way. So take a few minutes to look at this and consider these questions and this information. A wedding is a romantic ceremony that officiates the unity of two people. The next artwork we will be talking about involves a very different kind of ceremony. Any guesses as to what it could be? All right, so with the next piece, we're gonna move to over here. So as you can see, this is a very long piece. This is called the Rafia Cloth Panel, and it's by an unidentified Cuba artist. So as you look at this, um, think about what you see. And how do you think this was used? So think about those two questions for a little bit and pause the video if you need. And I want you to also think about um, what kind of design do you see in this? And who do you think that this was for? Do you think that it was for somebody with a certain status? So with this Rafia cloth, um, this is used for a funeral. So this wraps the body and um, it's a sign of respect and care. And as you can see, this looks like it took a very long time so you can see that it, it's made with 
a lot of care and respect for the person in the funeral. And this can also differ um, for each person. So there can be different styles of this refia cloth panel um, based on the person's status. This is the end of our virtual tour through the Alcar Museum. We hope you guys learned something and had fun. The next activity we are going to do together is based on Jess Dugan's portrait work. You're going to create a self-portrait using a subject of your choice that you feel represents your identity. All right, here's a few teacher examples to give you a little sneak peek at what our activity is gonna look like in the next video. We look forward to seeing you there.